Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Paddock. Uh, today is June the 10th and it is a special birthday today. It is Lauren's birthday. So Lauren, I have a story for you and it is actually by Mark Brown, who's our author of the month, and it is called Arthur's Birthday. So Lauren, this book is dedicated to you, my friend. And so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you have a wonderful day as well, okay? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait, said Arthur. Are you sure it's only Tuesday? See for yourself, said Mother. Oh, four more days until my birthday, said Arthur. I hope everyone can come to my birthday party. What kind of cake should I bake? Asked Grandma Thora. Chocolate, said Arthur. Mm, that's my favorite too. Have a good day at school, said Mother, smiling. And don't forget to hand out your invitations, said D.W. Buster, can you come to my party? asked Arthur. Are you kidding? said Buster. Of course. Grandma's making chocolate cake, said Arthur. I'll be there, said the brain. I love chocolate. How about me? asked Binky Barnes. You're invited, said Arthur, and Francine too. Oh boy, said Francine. Can we play spin the bottle? Mm. She wants a kiss from Arthur, I think. Muffy, can you come to my birthday party? Arthur asked. Sure, Muffy answered. When is it? It's Saturday afternoon, Arthur said. I can't wait. This Saturday afternoon? But that's when Ma I'm having my party, said Muffy. Oh no, said Arthur, you can't. Can't you change your party to another day? Are you kidding me, said Muffy? The rock band and Pickles the Clown have all been booked for months. Well, I can't change my party either, said Arthur. All my relatives are coming in from Ohio. No one knew what to do. Should they go to Arthur's birthday party or Muffy's? Oh dear, what a dilemma, eh? Wednesday before school, the boys had a meeting. I think we should stick together, said Buster. Me too, said Binky. Right, said the brain. We'll all go to Arthur's party. But what about the girls, said Arthur. Who needs girls, said Buster. The girls met at the playground during lunch. Anyone who doesn't come to my party can't be my friend, said Muffy. But it won't be much fun without the boys, said Francine. Are you my friend or not, said Muffy. Oh, I don't know. Muffy's not being a good friend either, though, is she? Hmm. Thursday after school, Arthur and his mother picked out decorations for the party. Later, the delivery man uh, brought a big box. Wow, it weighs a ton, said D.W. In the mail, there were three birthday cards for Arthur. One was from Uncle Bud. When Arthur opened it, three dollar bills fell out. Ugh, some people have all the luck, said D.W. She wishes she could get that money, right? On the way home from school on Friday, Arthur ran to catch up with Francine. I wish you could come to my party, said Arthur. Yeah, me too, but I promised Muffy, said Francine. Oh, I really wish I could go to both. What's a party without boys? Wait a minute, said Arthur. I have an idea. He's whispering into her ear. That's great, said Francine. I'll help. They ran to Arthur's treehouse. Arthur found pencils, paper, and envelopes. Let me write them, said Francine. It has to look like Muffy's handwriting. Okay, said Arthur, but be sure there's one for all the girls. That night, Arthur told his parents about his plan. Early the next morning, Arthur and Francine delivered their notes, one to Prunella, one to Sue Ellen, and one to Fern. The last note they delivered was a special one. All done, said Arthur. See you later, said Francine. So this one says, Dear Muffy, I have a special present for you. It is so big, I can't carry it all by myself. Please come to my house today at noon to get it. Sincerely, Arthur. Oh. I smell pancakes, said Arthur when he got home. Your favorite, said Father. And maple syrup all the way from Ohio, said Aunt Bonnie. Happy birthday, said Cousin George. Time for birthday kisses, said Mother. And eight birthday hugs, said Grandma Thora. And don't forget a pinch to grow an inch, said D.W. <laughs> Arthur stood by the window. It was almost noon. Someone's coming, he cried. 
It was Sue Ellen. What are you doing here? asked Sue Ellen. Well, what are you doing here? asked Buster. It's a surprise for Muffy, said Francine, coming up behind them. It's a surprise for all of us, said the brain. Everyone find a place to hide, said Arthur. Muffy will be here any minute. Shh, whispered Buster. Here she comes. Arthur opened the door. Hi, Arthur. I came to pick up my present, said Muffy. Can you see that they're all hiding? Hiding behind there, there, there. Oh my goodness, gotta be quiet when it's a surprise party, right? Surprise, shouted everyone. Happy birthday, Muffy, said Arthur. See, I told you, your present is too big to carry. The rest of the, your party is on the way, said Francine. After all, said Arthur, what's a birthday party without all of your friends? Oh my goodness. This is the best birthday ever, said Muffy. We should do this every year, but next year, let's do it at your house, said Arthur's mom. Because she has a bigger house, right? Yeah. Time to open presents, said Francine. I picked this one out especially for you. You have to promise me to use it right away, Arthur. Sure, said Arthur. I can't wait. Hmm, I wonder what she got him. Happy birthday, Arthur. And it says, it's a bottle, and it says, Francine, spin the bottle game. She totally wants a kiss from Arthur. That's why she gave him that. Love it. So, Miss Lauren, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and uh, a lot of birthday hugs to you. Ready? I'm going to give you a big birthday hug. Mm. And um, remember that you are very much loved uh, by everyone, and we all wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy birthday, Lauren. Take care, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.